makeup tutorial that I think is super easy to do. There's only three eyeshadows that I use to create this look and honestly, it's super wearable, super cool. It's like a pop of color. It's a duochrome shadow and it's like different colors with different positions, different lightings. I think it's really cool. So I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial and as always, if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. We're gonna start off with a new primer. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. I am i don't know, I wanna see how this kind of compares to maybe the Benefit Professional. I don't know why I just squirted it on my face like that. It's a little bit more watery than the Pore Professional. It has a little bit more slip to it. But we will see how this goes underneath the foundation just because you can't necessarily see what a clear primer does on you. You just have to wait uh, for the foundation application. I'm going to skip on into foundation and today I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny and to apply this I'm using the limited edition Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki. I don't have this brush and I wanted to get this specifically because it was for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As you may know October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and when you buy this brush 20% of the proceeds gets donated to the Bright Pink's Life Saving Breast and Ovarian Health Education Programs. So I think that's really really good and also if you want to save more money on this brush you can use my code that's a yin for 10% off so not only are you gonna save on this brush but you're also gonna be donating money to these programs and I think that's really important that blended into my skin really well but I actually don't want the full coverage of this foundation I know weird right so I'm gonna go in with my shop miss a wonder blender and if you want to get anything from shop miss a you can use my affiliate link to help me out as well um, I have it in my description box for you guys and I'm just gonna use this, pounce the foundation, and it will take off the excess uh, foundation that I don't need, so that's really good. I'm gonna be mixing two concealers today, so I'm using the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Wonder Cover HD Concealer. I have the color Porcelain, and then for ColourPop, I have the No Filter Concealer in the color Medium. 30 and I'm just gonna apply these both together just because the AOA one is too light and then the ColourPop one is just a little too dark. For brows I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color dark brown and then I'm using my Sigma E65 brush and I'm just gonna do hair like strokes in my brow. Oh that was too dark. Oops. It's okay. It's fine. I'll blend it out. Um, and I'm just going to lightly fill in my brow. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I have a nice shape. Um, this color is just a little too warm for me, so I'm going to go in with another color that's going to kind of neutralize it just a little bit more. This part is always super, super messy, and I always get hate for how I do my brows messily, but who really has time to do a perfect brow application on the first try? Do you know? Like, I got places to be. I don't have time. I'm just gonna spoolie it out in the end anyways, you know? Um, this is actually a really important step just because it brushes all the product throughout the brow evenly and it just disperses the product uh, just so it doesn't look too heavy in one area. Like I said, I'm going to neutralize this brow color so I'm going to take my Sigma Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark and I'm going to take the darkest side of this duo and I'm just going to focus this color on the tail end of my brow and again these are hair like strokes and then whatever is left on the brush I'm just going to drag it to the front. The point of this is just to mimic my natural hairs just so they don't look too drawn on. Concealer under the brow and I'm just going to take a regular concealer brush and I'm just going to outline my brow. And this is why I kind of don't care if my brows are messy initially because I'm just going to go in with concealer anyway to sharpen it up. So, And then I'm just going to buff this out with a smaller Kabuki brush. This is by BH Cosmetics. It's their 120 brush. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish my face uh, just because I feel very washed out right now uh, looking at my forehead. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. bronzing palette and my Marc Jacobs brush. I don't know the name of this brush, but I know the set that it came in. It's the Your Place But Mine set. I got it as a gift for my birthday for my sister. So I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to bronze my forehead. And I just love this brush just because it's so dense, so it really just applies my bronzer in a very quick stroke like that. I know it's not blended right now, but that's just because I'm laying down the color. With a lighter shade in the palette, I'm going to use this to blend everything together with my skin just because it is a lightest shade and I just want to make sure that everything looks seamless. 
I guess I didn't pack a blush in my filming room, so I'm gonna improvise. Um, I'm just gonna use whatever is left on my brush, and I'm just gonna use this as blush. I don't really know what's on here. It could be Apricot in the Middle by Wet n Wild. I don't know. For highlight, we're using Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This might be a little too dark, oh. but she's popping. This highlight is actually really, really pretty when the light hits it, but then when I look forward, it looks a little too golden and it kind of looks like a stripe. So to tone that down a little bit, I'm just gonna grab this random highlight. This is Jeffree Star Peach Goddess. And this is a, like a peachy undertone, but it's still more it's lighter. So she's just gonna make it look a little bit better. And then to blend that out, I'm gonna take this AOA Studio F19, it's a highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna go over the edges of this real quick. And I'm gonna take Peach Goddess again since it is lighter. And I'm just gonna apply this with my Sigma E30. And I'm gonna apply this right on the bridge and tip of my nose. I have been requested to do a nose contouring video, but honestly, I'm just gonna show you right now how I nose contour. So I take the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and I'm gonna take the lightest shade in this bronzing palette tap off a lot of the excess and what I like to do is I like to start at the tip of my nose right here on both sides get the bottom part of my nose and then I'll work my way up just because uh, I find that when I work here and then work down a lot of the product gets stuck right here and it's harder to blend so on all honesty it's just easier for me um, to focus a lot of the product here just because I feel like you should have more shadow at the tip of your nose um, but in all honesty, that's just me and how I think that it works. And honestly, I don't even like a harsh nose contour. I just like something there just to give me some type of dimension. And then if I'm feeling, you know, a little extra, I'll go in and bake. So I'll show you how I do that. This is another Real Techniques brush, but it just doesn't have the name. It came in the same kit as the other one. And I'm just going to take some Cody Airspun powder. I'm going to pack it onto this brush and I'm just going to pack this on the side of my nose and this is just going to make my nose look a little bit more slim. While that sets there, I'm going to use the same translucent powder on that brush and I'm just going to set my eyelid in place. This is just going to be a base for my shadows and today I'm using the Makeup Shayla and Maybelline City Mini Palette and I'm just going to take that cream shade again just because I only used the excess product that was on here and I'm gonna go in and set my whole entire eyelid and then sometimes I like to connect the two powders together so I'll just like bring it down where the uh, translucent powder is so with the Sigma E40 I'm gonna take the brown shade in here I'm gonna coat my brush really good and then I'm gonna tap off a lot of the excess and it's still gonna have um, product on here but it's not gonna be as much and the whole point of that is just so I could get an even layer of this color on my eyes and as you can see it's so pigmented even when I dust off all that excess and so this is enough for two eyes and you just want to focus on blending this out into the crease I'm gonna grab a smaller brush this is the Sigma E35 I'm taking only one tap in and I'm focusing this on the outer corner and I'm just going to wing this color out just because it suits my eye shape a little bit better. I'm going to stop right here for now and I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and the Color Party of 5. This is a duochrome shade and what I like to do is I like to apply this with my finger. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this onto my eyelid area. And obviously like if you think that this is enough then it's enough, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get the longest wear out of the eye look. Not that this isn't long wearing or anything, but you know, just to make sure that this really lasts all day, like it really lasts a whole 14 hours, I'm gonna set the cream with um, a powder. So I'm gonna take Max Boom Boom Room, which is a little bit more sheer, but it has a little bit more of a blue reflect in it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on with my finger as well. They're the same type of duochrome shadow, just different formulas. 
We're gonna go back to the Maybelline palette. We're gonna be using the Morphe R39. And I'm gonna take this on the tip of this brush. And what I love about this brown so much is that it's so easy to build up. Um, and I don't know, I just enjoy it because you only saw me use this one brown and normally brown they have a certain limit i should say to how far they can be built up to but this one just keeps going it just goes on really strong my trick for this look to make it look really crisp is actually taking a little bit con of concealer and i like to apply just a little bit right there i know i already applied highlight but i'm just going to use this as a way to sharpen up my shadow. Now we're going to take a really tiny brush. This is the Sigma Exact Blend E32 and I'm going to take, you guessed it, that brown and I'm going to apply this right on my lower lash line. To blend this out I'm using the Morphe brush and I am just going to further blend it out just because this has a little bit more flimsiness to it as opposed to denseness. I'm sitting more up close because I'm using my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and I'm using the Sigma E05 brush to apply this. I don't use gel liner on myself, I use gel liner on my clients. I'm doing that for now. <laughs> she gave up early. So I'm gonna switch to the Sigma Line Ace in the color Legend and this is just gonna give me a little bit more of a precise application. I'm gonna take the gel liner and I'm gonna line my waterline. Mascara, Super Sizer by CoverGirl. I'm just using up my mascara so I can buy new ones. For lashes, I'm gonna use the waterproof version. For lashes today, I have some Salon Perfect 614 and 615 stacked, so one on top of the other. And I bought this lash glue yesterday. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. I don't know, I just thought maybe because my eyelids were cracked the other day, like maybe I need some aloe on my lash line. If you're dry and you just feel like you're just too caked up, take some setting mist. I'm using my Mara Badescu facial spray. You get a good layer and then take your beauty blender or whatever blender you have. And I'm just going to pat this into the skin. We're gonna move on into lips. I'm using one of my oldie but goodie lip liners. This one is by Jordana. This is their Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil in the color Rock and Rose. Personally, I think that this look looks best with a cool tone nude lip, but obviously you can use whatever kind of lip you want. Um, I'm using Jeffree Star Manny MUA Daddy, and if you don't support Jeffree Star, that's okay. There's a dupe. Um, I know that this was unintentional, but the dupe is Kathleen Light in ColourPop Point zero and you guys that is the completed look I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial and let me know if you're gonna rock this look soon and thank you guys so much for watching I know that I got a lot of requests for this look which I am so thankful for you guys are the best for supporting me and I know the true subscribers stay till the end of my videos and thank you guys for watching my content and as always I love you guys so much thank you so much for 18,000 subscribers and I'll see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts